What is up guys, welcome to my channel and today I am back with another GTA 5 online video and I hope you guys are all having a good day. Now in this video I'm going to be showing you a solo money glitch that you guys can do right now to make a lot of money. But I just want to quickly give a shout out to all of you guys for the amazing support, I really do appreciate it. And I want to give a shout out to these three amazing people right here. So a lot of you guys have been asking me for shout outs so I thought about doing this. And if you want me to do more of this, if you want me to pick some of you guys and give you a shout out in my videos, then definitely let me know and I will continue to do this. But anyway, if you do go on to enjoy this video, then please drop a like down below and also subscribe for more GTA 5 videos like this. And there are lots of other GTA 5 glitch videos, including other money glitch videos over on my channel. So make sure to turn on my post notifications by clicking the bell beside the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future GTA 5 videos. But anyway, sorry for the longer intro right here, let's just get straight into the glitch. So this is a solo money glitch, you don't need any friends to help you. And I have shown this one before, it has been around for a little while. Now the reason why I'm showing it again is because there is a much easier way to do the glitch and I'm going to be showing that in this video. So the glitch still isn't patched and what you need for it is an MOC with the personal vehicle storage and you need to have the car you want to duplicate inside it. You'll also need to have a nightclub and make sure your nightclub service entrance is empty. So that's the little spot at the back of your nightclub. Make sure there is nothing stored in there. Now you'll also need to get a scuba suit so you can get them from a clothes shop. Just make sure you've got a scuba suit and make sure you're wearing it. Now what you want to do is go over to some water and you want to open up your interaction menu, go to style and just get ready to select one of your outfits. And what you want to do is walk into the water and just as you're about to go all the way into the water and you're about to start swimming, you want to then select your outfit. Now this might take a few tries, but if you do it correctly, you should hear the outfit get selected, but nothing should happen. So just go out of the water and now you want to go to your SecuroServe CEO, go to management, then go to style and then change it to one of the outfits and then just change it back to none. And every time you do that, it should take the scuba tank off. Now, if you've not got this result right here, then unfortunately you didn't get it and you will need to try again. Now, it can take a few tries to do that. It can be a little bit tricky. So don't worry if you don't get it on the first try and you only need to do it once. So once you've done this, you don't need to go back and do it again. Just make sure you don't change your outfit and then you'll be fine. You'll just keep this glitched outfit the whole time and it will stay there even if you change sessions or if you completely turn your console off. When you come back, you'll still have the outfit. But anyway, once you've got that set up, you'll want to go into your bunker and drive out the car you want to duplicate from your MOC. So as always, make sure you're using a fully maxed out upgradable arena vehicle. The SA is the best one to use. If you don't have an arena vehicle, you can also use a fully maxed out Benny's vehicle and you do not need to have custom plates for this glitch. But once you've got the car out of your MOC, you'll want to then get out of the car and exit your bunker. Now you want to make your way over to your nightclub, but make sure you don't call out any personal vehicles because that will mess up the glitch. So as you can see here, I'm using a CEO helicopter, but you can also use a Pegasus vehicle or you can just drive a car from the street. Just make sure you don't call any personal vehicles and you'll be fine. But once you get over to your nightclub, you just want to enter your nightclub and go over to that little spot at the back of your nightclub where you can store vehicles. Now, like I said earlier, you shouldn't have a vehicle in this spot. Make sure this spot is empty before you begin. But anyway, once you do get in here, you want to do the trick that we did with the scuba tanks earlier. So you want to open your interaction menu Go to SecuroServe CEO, go to Management and then go to Style and then change it to an outfit and then change it back to None. And every time you do that, you should be dropping a scuba tank like how I was doing right there in the gameplay. So once you've got that, you want to open your phone, go to the internet and then go to Southern San Andreas Super Autos. And now you just want to buy a Fagio for your nightclub service entrance. Now, once you've done that, you want to just basically fill this whole area right here with scuba tanks. Just fill the whole area as much as you can. Just try to cover as much 
of the floor as you possibly can just around this area and this will cut out most of the tedious stuff that we had to do before this just makes it a lot easier so you just want to keep doing this for about two minutes because it takes two minutes for the Fagio to be delivered so just take note of the time when you're doing this just keep doing this for two minutes and try to cover as much ground as possible now once you've done it for two minutes and you are happy with the way you've got your scuba tanks so if you've got them looking like this right here and it's been longer than two minutes just close your interaction menu don't look away from the scuba tanks make sure you're always looking at them and the Fagio should be delivered on top of the scuba tanks if it's not delivered right away then just make sure you're looking at the scuba tanks and then just wait for the Fagio to show up but what you want to do is just run into the Fagio and it should just instantly fall over and now it should be super easy to push the Fagio. So before we had to try to push the Fagio all the way over there with the scuba tanks and then try to tip it over. But now we can just put the scuba tanks down before and then we can just push the Fagio up the stairs and it is a lot easier to do it that way. So once you've got the Fagio onto its side and you can push it easily, you just want to go ahead and push it up the stairs like how I'm doing right here. Now once you do get it up the stairs you'll want to just push it over to this spot over here and you want to push it through the grey door on the right so don't push it through the glass door on the left, push it through the grey door. Now once you do push it through the grey door you will then want to just position it beside this bed just over here and then once you've got it positioned over here just get onto the bike and it should be like this so you should be on the bike and you should have the option to press right on the d-pad to get into the bed so once you've got that what you want to do is press right on the d-pad and then quickly drive out now make sure you don't press both buttons at the same time you want to do them one after the other so press right on the d-pad and then quickly drive out after that now if you do it too slow then you will just get into the bed and if you just press both buttons at the same time then you will just go out with the Fagio so you just want to try to get your timing for this just press right on the d-pad and then very quickly drive out now if you do that correctly you should just go outside on foot you should not be out here with the Fagio so it should look like this if you get it so if you got it what you want to do from here is make your way back to your bunker but again make sure you don't call out any personal vehicles but once you do get back to your bunker just walk inside and once you get inside the bunker the car you want to duplicate should still be in there so you just want to get into the car and once you can drive the car around just get back out of the car and walk into the back of your MOC now make sure your car is not parked too close to the MOC because you will not be able to get in but once you're inside the MOC just turn around and exit your MOC once you get back out of the MOC just go ahead get back into the car and store it inside the MOC so just drive it to the back of it press right on the d-pad to store it inside and it should say the personal vehicle storage is full just accept that alert and the car should go straight in from there you've duplicated it the original copy has now transferred over to your nightclub and now the duplicated copy is inside your MOC so if you want to do it again of course you don't have to go back and glitch the scuba outfit again that is already set up to do it again so you don't have to worry about that you just need to make sure your nightclub service entrance is empty again so you can just take the car that's in there out of the nightclub and put it into another garage that has an empty space in it once it goes into that garage then your nightclub should be empty again and you can just go ahead and do the glitch again so I really hope you guys could follow this video, I apologise for showing this glitch again but I really hope this glitch is easier with this method. So I really hope you did enjoy this video and if you did then please drop a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.